directed such films as The Terminator, Aliens, and Rambo 2. His new film, as we have already heard and learned, is called The Abyss. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to James Cameron. Oh, uh, now this is, uh, we've been joking about having the director of this film on, but this is not just an ordinary film, is it? This is a little something special. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was, uh, well, it was shot underwater, which, uh, you know, yeah. I think you should do a show underwater sometime. You know, we've actually uh, talked, about, sounds talked about it, but it seemed like it would be logistically uh, darn near impossible. I'll talk to some people. We'll see what we can work out. All right. Get you a helmet. Uh, now, what is the deal here? This is, uh, it's all underwater, and, and what happens? It's people are out, a submarine explodes, and... Any of that? <laughs> bits, bits, yeah. yeah. Uh, a nuclear submarine uh, uh, sinks under mysterious circumstances. Right. You've got a crew of uh, oil rig divers on the bottom of the ocean who get called in to find out what the hell's going on. And uh, they start coming in contact with something very strange. It's coming up from a, it lives a much... lives down there. Lives down there, yeah. yeah. Now, 20, now yeah. In, in all of the oceans of the world, is there anything like the abyss? Is there like a bottomless uh, hole anywhere? Uh, there are places where it goes down... Uh, Five, six, seven miles. Yeah, yeah. And it's relatively unexplored, so anything could be down there. We don't know. Now, uh, people who have seen the film, uh, yeah, people are divided. Some people say, geez, this is the best picture ever. And other people are thinking, well, there's no fish. <laughs> you know? Uh, do you have fish in, in the movie? Well, budget cuts. <laughs> <laughs> but, but do you see fish? But we can afford Chris. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, but are there, is there marine life in there? Uh, yeah, well, at that depth, there is very little life. What I was trying to do is, is say that this is a very uh, barren and sterile place right. down there and, and focus the attention on the people and their interaction, you know, their emotions yeah. and, you know, what happens to them. And how, how, did you, how deep were you when you filmed this thing? 55 feet, something like that. Yeah. yeah. And, and were the actors uh, that deep as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And were they all, did they all take di uh, dive training? Yeah, when uh, when I auditioned the actors originally, they they all you know thousands of actors came in for for parts, and I kind of winnowed out the ranks a little bit. Yeah. I said, uh, you know, you're all gonna die. Yeah. Um, that was like the icebreaker, and, right. and uh, I said, you know, you're gonna have to learn to dive, and you gotta expect losses. You know, <laughs> losses really. <laughs> You know, we uh, we were very safety conscious on the picture. Well, now, they, but have you heard? You must have heard this that Ed Harris is steamed because he says that you tricked him and, and hit his oxygen or something like that. Just li just a little underwater joke, you know. <laughs> I mean, no, but is that is that true or is that just not? It was probably some momentary tiff. I hit his air, you know. <laughs> but no, well, I was partying with Ed last night and. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think he's now. Were he's you particularly... 55 feet below? Yeah. Also, yeah. So it was as dangerous for you. Did you ever? Do you ever think you placed them in jeopardy? You yourself would not have wanted to be in. Um, not that anybody wants to be in jeopardy, but you know what I mean. Well, some people like to challenge themselves, yeah. and I think we all were trying to push ourselves a little bit. You know, jeopardy is relative. It's funny. I've been doing a, a number of you know, press interviews and so on, and people uh, say, you know, how dangerous was it? And I say, not very. And then I get in a, t in a taxi or a limo, and I'm driving around New York and I see people stepping off the curb and almost getting yeah. killed and I almost get killed and I'm hiding under the seat and I go in and do another interview and wasn't it really dangerous and I go um, you know I'm, yeah uh, <laughs> it was it was not real dangerous and then I get out and I go in the taxi and I almost die yeah. and so you know jeopardy is kind of it's a relative Absolutely. thing you know uh, the, the budget for this film was what 30 40 million dollars 43 million 43 million cross. and what what was the budget on the first film you directed First film I directed, uh, which I got fired off of, was uh, called Piranha 2, mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and I think it was about 600,000. And then the second film was The Terminator, and that was six million. And the next film after that was Aliens, and that was 17 million. And this one was 43. Oh, so the next God. film on that curve would be about 150 million. Yikes! Um, do you think somebody My will? It's not going to ring for a while, but <laughs> do, do you think somebody will spend that kind of money on a film? No, I don't. So. Yeah, but I mean, years and years ago, somebody would have said, "Geez, I never spend forty million on a film either." I guess. Well, you know, forty million doesn't buy what it used to. Yeah, that's a shame. Uh, no fish. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, before Piranha Two, which was the blockbuster sequel to Piranha. Yes. yes. Uh, <laughs> what, how did you start? What was your first uh, position in film? What did you do? I started uh, working in special effects yeah. and. Uh, I did a little art direction, and then I worked, you know, I kind of got into a second unit. You worked with Roger Corman at Roger one point? Roger Corman, yeah. Yeah, and, and was that a film you remember? 
You worked on a film? Yeah, thing? I worked on uh, Battle Beyond the Stars and another film called Galaxy of Terror. Yeah. In fact, I got my first directing gig, which was, you know, Piranha 2, as a result of Galaxy of Terror. I was doing second unit directing on that film. And um, um, my very first job as a director, it was like, okay, today I am a director, second right. unit director. Uh, was second to unit being what? The you know, little inserts and things, if you need a cutaway to I something, see. you know. And they needed a cutaway to a dismembered arm lying on the ground with worms crawling around on it. So, I have the arm, I have the worms, we have set up the camera, it's lit, and nothing happens. Yeah. It's just like a still photo. So I have them put a, uh, a piece of zip cord, strip it down, and lay it underneath the arm, and we make it wet so that it'll conduct. And there's an electrician around behind the set, and the only cue I could think of was action uh -huh. to tell him to throw the switch. So you're going to shoot electricity into the arm, right. the worms, into the, both. Yeah, right, right. exactly. And um, what I didn't know was that these two producers who were looking for a director for uh, Piranha 2 had <laughs> come in behind me, and they were looking over the setup. And I said, all right, roll camera. They rolled and action and the electrician behind plugged in the worms all started to move i said that's good that's a cut he unplugs yeah. they didn't see him yeah. worms stopped moving i turned and say come with us we'd like to talk to you about a film we're making and then it was piranha 2. well this uh this has opened uh, nationwide now is that the deal this is all over yep. and and uh do you think is it going to be like one of these big ones like batman or some of the others that have it's hard to say. It's anybody's guess. Yeah. You know, people seem to want to spend a lot of money this summer at the movies, yeah. which is great. But on the other hand, year. they might have spent it all already. Yeah. All right. You know? uh, <laughs> but it's the abyss, and uh, this is the uh, man responsible for it, James Cameron. Pleasure to see you. Thank you very much for being here. Well, we'll be right back. Buddy.